Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. Alright, so just a recap before we get on. We, um... <laughs> We, we finished off the Emperor, we found out that he was actually Azteca, and then we found out that Azteca was actually an android who was supposed to be helping people uh, live their better lives, but um, yeah, that, that didn't work out so well. He, uh, something something, uh, in purging evil, he just concentrated it or some, some weird something like that. Uh, philosophy majors, go nuts on it. Uh, check out Crystallis on the Wikipedia, and you can find out all the fun that that involves. Um, <clears throat> so now that we've reached the Castle in the Sky portion of this game, we are... Oh, sorry, no, the, the Flag Tower. Okay. That one's for you. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm not even sure I got that reference right. I know the name of the movie is Castle in the Sky, but I don't know if this... how, how well the latter half of the game actually matches up with Castle in the Sky. Hopefully Arcadius will chime in at some point. Um, Alright. Two more floors and a boss battle. Ready, set, here we go. Now, I probably shouldn't have wasted a whole thunder on just the one guy. Okay. We got one of the... yep. Ow! Could you die? Good sir. You. I'll be happy to be rid of you. Don't mind me while I just keep throwing lightning bolts at the situation. Alright, let's top off that magic real quick. Actually, there's been nothing real quick about topping off magic. I, I love that they give you the pendant because with no option to buy magic rings, this is literally our only way of replenishing our magic is parking your butt in a corner and watching the trickle charge of magic from your pendant. Oh yes. Yeah, so I, I really kind of wish they would have put a vendor somewhere up on each floor so you could take what little money you had left and maybe buy a magic ring at each level. Um, or, before sending you immediately through the door, like I thought with all the wise men there, I'd have had the opportunity to, to like, you know, teleport and then walk back to them. Like, oh no, you must go up to the floating tower. All right, BRB. And, uh, <laughs> and then go get some magic rings. But... That, that's that's just not the way that works. But at least uh, at least as long as you do all the things, you you'll have a pendant which will let you replenish your magic to crawl up this tower. You'll have armor that'll replenish your life to crawl up this tower. All you got to do is carve out a little space to let them do their thing. And uh, yeah. In the meantime, and then you just sit there and watch two fifty two. 253, 254, 255. Oh, there we go. 255. Um, <clears throat> Warriors, unite. And then we kill them with uh, dropped frames. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that, that's just because uh, you only got but so much processing power on the old NES. Hang on, I got the one guy over here to take care of. Ow! No. Are you kidding me? Just need a second. Give me a second. I wasn't expecting to uh, take that much damage. Of course, I'm going to stand here replenishing uh, magic, I might as well, or health, I might as well stand here and replenish magic real quick. Ah, nothing real quick about it. 
plug in the trickle charger. Give it a few hours. Although this time I'm not going to wait for the magic to finish until I'm, I've finished clearing the level. Because I've only got two, two doors on this level, so this shouldn't be as bad. Um, but it looks like I might, I might manage to get both health and magic back uh, in time. You know, I, I forgot for a minute just how... I know. Uh, I, for the games of the era, the music really was pretty good in this game. I mean, I'm not going to like go out and buy Crystallis the album or anything like that, but uh, it really wasn't that bad. There we go. There's our stairs. So just like we did last time, we're going to do our little pendenty thing. Oop. Ow! Go away! Nobody likes you. seems to be the place to stand if I want them to take a predictable path pathfinding path onto the end of my sword oh yeah I you would have thought it was written by Bethesda the pathfinding so cunning you could pin a tail on it and call it a donkey no that's not the way the saying goes And then the worst part is, is that I'm hitting all these guys, and there's no more XP to get because I'm at the I'm at the max level. That's it, level 16, done. Yeah, I'm out. 42, 43, 44. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. go up. Oh, no message. Can't save. Alright, but I can go file, save state, save state. Let's get the big, the big guns charged and ready. Oh, there's uh no bad guys on here. Oh. I was hoping that would let me uh not release that charge. Alright, let's uh replenish that real quick. I didn't realize that this floor didn't have uh didn't have anything. Nothing but stories and plot devices. So here's your resting spot. You get to slog through those three floors to get here, but uh, here's your resting spot. Hope you saved up your rings. <laughs> I mean, don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Uh, there there are some games that I've played that I think are too easy. Like there's no challenge to them, and I don't just mean like no reflex challenge because not not you know the, the reflex thing isn't for everybody. But I mean, they they legit have no challenge. All right, I want to get an opal statue ready because we're getting ready for more story first. Mezia, Anon Junior, you finally caught up with me. Unsheath your swords, hey now, or the tower's attack will begin. Wait, what? You now have Crystallis. All 
Alright. I got Crystallis. Oh, there's no that's right, there's no bracers or ball or anything like that. Uh I can't save here. You must destroy Dyna, the central computer. If you succeed, stick Crystallis into its main reactor. Alright, let's go file, save state, save state. Alright, so here we go. It's, uh... Time for the final battle. Wait. Oh, that's right. I, I don't think I get to fire the level 1 stuff until we get to, uh... You know, instead of refresh, I might want barrier for this. We'll try it that way first. Non Junior, Mezia, by the time this is activated, we will no longer be alive. We hope we have made the right decisions and that all people will realize their mistakes before it's too late. As old friends, we wish you safety. Good luck. May the odds ever be in your favor. Uh oh. And here we are! Tis the boss! <laughs> all that, all that, all that grinding and, and the frustrations of all the levels of the tower. And there it is. The boss is slain. Like a little... Never mind. Okay, Crystallis is thrust into the reactor. I'm not going to have to change my channel rating for this, am I? This is a family-friendly channel. Confirmed meltdown. Self-destruct has been initiated. Anon Jr. Mezia! Did you get hurt? No, I'm fine. The danger is over now, Anon. The da Who wrote this? The danger is now over, Anon Jr. It would be nice to rest easy from now on, without the threat of evil at our backs. Final countdown initiated. That's right. It's the final countdown. No. Evacuate. Explosives activated. Evacuate. Time to leave. I'm with you. Now this legendary conflict, along with the people's despair, have ultimately ended. Anon Junior and Mezia, two fearless youths we can never forget. You gonna turn the page or do I need to? This will be a legend forever remembered to maintain peace in humanity, and peace will remain. And there we go. That's it. That's the end of the game. So while the credits roll, I'll do my little after-action thing uh, that I normally do. Um, hey, it's Dolphin! Okay. Um, despite the frustrations at the end, I still had fun playing this game again. I, I really did enjoy it. Uh, this came, again, this came out based on the success of The Legend of Zelda, the original NES game, the first one, the one that started it all. And this and a couple other games were, were kind of clones in the same vein, trying to capture on the, the, that particular style of JRPG. And, um, it was the beginning of an era for a lot of that stuff. Willow was another one that came out around the same time. Uh, from a different studio, and it was loosely based on the movie. You saw a lot of familiar names and characters, and, and it kind of sort of followed the plot, but it, it wasn't it wasn't nearly as good a game. Um, oh, there goes the tower. Maybe I should have taken the screenshot from a different spot. <laughs> the end. Ah. Oh. Is it going to let me stay there, or is it going to force me into the, the title screen thingy? Uh, okay, so I had a lot of fun playing this game. 
this game again. Uh, I might I might have to dig up another another NES classic then uh, at some point, not right away. Uh, it it is kind of frustrating though to go from the massive inventories of modern games to the very limited resources and <laughs> inventories of the classic games because gone is your endless bag of holding or carrying half the world with your strength of 23 or you know whatever it is that the game allows you to do you got eight slots you know how many consumables you can have eight choose wisely uh, the, the whole elemental vulnerability thing is always an interesting mechanic. Uh, it would have been nicer if there was an easier way to, to see it. But again, like a lot of the original N NES games, uh, because there was limited space on the cartridge, they, they you had to refer to the manual. So you got a decently sized paper manual in, in the game container, in the game. And... Uh, don't lose that because like all, all the, all the item stuff that I've been reading off of and double checking, that's all in the manual. Ain't nothing telling you what the, the defense of a sacred shield is versus a mirror shield versus a ceramic shield. Yeah, you got to check the manual on that because they ain't going to tell you in the game. Uh, there, there's not enough room for that at this juncture, given that we're talking about a classic NES. I mean, that we're not exactly talking about unlimited resources. Um, that that is one of the things that makes modern games a little bit more a little bit more interesting and flexible. Is that you know I I, <laughs> I mean what you were using at the time was amazing. I mean we're talking about it was an eight bit console. This just blew Atari out of the water. And then, you know, the Super Nintendo came along later. That was a 16-bit console. I, I can emulate that and more on this thin little bit of plastic. Uh, you know, so, okay. Much fun was had. I hope you had fun, too. I hope you enjoyed this little journey down uh, Nostalgia Lane. Uh, you know, the the... The classic 8-bit graphics, the classic 8-bit animations, um, some of the lost in translation translations that uh, occasionally happened with games like that. Uh, the story was good. I, I forgot that some of the story, I, I really should have read back at the beginning because some of what you're supposed to get for the game to understand what was going on is only in the manual. So there's the part that's in the manual, the part they show you at the beginning of the game, and then what you learn along the way. And uh, that that part is a little frustrating. But having said all that, yeah, you know, there wasn't too much time spent grinding away. Uh, I do like that you have the option to level up a little bit ahead of time. Like for for a much more modern game, that was one of my frustrations with both of the Knights of the Old Republic games. There were a fixed number of people to to kill and loot, and that was it. So there was no way to to level up a little bit more in advance of the area. You uh you you, you got what you got, and that's all that you got. And, and at least here, you could go through. You, you know, you can go back and forth, up and down the tunnels, killing the scorpions, and collecting all the money, and collecting all the XP, and there you go. You got enough to keep yourself supplied for the next misadventure. Uh, and, and I do appreciate that. Uh, just like we were able to do when we were playing through Chrono Trigger. Uh, but again, Chrono Trigger was made for the next generation console. So where this was limited by an 8-bit processor and the memory and resources that were available, uh, Chrono Trigger benefited from having uh, the Super Nintendo, which was a 16-bit processor. And that meant that you could address more memory. You had more storage. You you had uh, better hardware, you know. And then go 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 look up the specs of the the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, and then go look up the specs of the Xbox Series X. 
or the PlayStation 5 and just marvel at how far we've come in my lifetime. I mean, I started gaming on the Atari 2800. So if you really want the full spectrum, because we're, we're not even talking about PC gaming, we're, we're just talking console gaming. Look at the difference in, in computing power from the Atari 2800 to the Xbox Series X. And it, it just blows you away. All right. So with all that said and done, um, I hope you had fun. I am going to have a good long think over the weekend on to what is next. Uh, I had originally planned on trying, but I did not know that Kingdom Hearts was going to be released as a PC port. And I've been told that I really, really, really need to play Kingdom Hearts. I was told specifically that I, I, I just needed to play the first one and I could kind of forget that the rest of them existed. Um, although there was some disagreement about that. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, let me know in the comments uh, whether you think uh, I should just do the first one or if I should try to work this like Star Wars and alternate um, Kingdom Hearts something else and then go back to the, other king the next Kingdom Hearts and that kind of thing. I'd have to double check the year it was released. Kingdom Hearts might be a little bit newer than what I've done because, again, th this is supposed to be games revisited, classic games. I, I think the newest game I played as a part of this series, because we just finished Season 6 right now, th this is the last episode of Season 6. It's the end, my friend. Uh, something like that. I forget the tune. Um, and the newest game that I played in the whole series was Portal 2. And that came out in 04, 06, somewhere in that ballpark. No, no, actually, I think I think Portal 2 was newer. And the only reason why I did that was because I played Portal 1, which came out in the early 2000s. And uh, Portal 1 was so short, I wanted to supplement with Portal 2. So... But still, Portal, Portal 2, that, that's as new as I've played so far. So, I, I, you know, I'll have to double check. But I'm, I'm going to be a little less of a stickler about the, the date range of games that I play. It's just not going to be the latest. Because this is, after all, games revisited. I'll look back at classic games. Or games that I enjoyed as a youth. Or especially where they overlap. Um, I personally think Crystallis was one of those things that fit in both categories. It was a game that I enjoyed playing as a youth. And it is a classic game. So I hope you had fun. And uh, with that, if you have any quips, quotes, queries, quandaries, complaints, or other whatnot, recommendations for future games, leave those in the comments over on YouTube later, because uh, I'm about to wrap up the live stream where I record these. And uh, there we go. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, Instrument Repair, Upgrades and Construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.